Okay, just trying to share a quick video here about um, practicing w welding on um, practice scrap metals. And um, can you use like brake rotors? So there is debate about this, that brake rotors are probably or are definitely cast iron. And this piece here, you might recognize it comes from a highway. I think it's those reflector things in the road. I found one and I broke it off on the side of the road. I picked that up. And this piece here is definitely a piece of plate steel. Now some guys on the internet say you can find out if it's iron or steel by grinding it. And if the sparks are like yellow, I think it's steel. And if they're like red, it's cast iron. So I tried the... Um, grinding experiment and I was kind of sub subjective or I couldn't really be sure you know it was inconclusive the color of the sparks anyway this thing so the answer though to the question is you can definitely use something like a cast iron or brake rotor to practice welding it's just that your beads are going to be a little funky they're not going to be as nice as they would be if they were on steel and that's what I had to prove to myself because I didn't know this and these here were with a flux core wire welder and they weren't too bad you can see them here these don't look too bad I even made like a little letter a P or something um, but then I did stick welding and I started getting kind of I couldn't get the nice ripples that I was looking for so that's what made me come out today and you can see this here. These were two passes right off the bat with a 3.30 second 70.14. And they have nice, you can see ripples on this, this bead. And this one had them too, it's not cleaned up. I did the same thing, 90 amps, same settings on this, which is cast iron. And it's got this funky, like rip, not ripples, but like bumpy, lumpy texture surface to it compared to the the ripples which look so nice and as I said I did a lot of things on this rotor and most of it was coming out lumpy like this so it works it welds um, it just said it doesn't look as pretty but you can learn things like undercut for example here one other thing was happening was they would the welds would start off kind of cold so the, the bead was raised a little narrow and kind of raised, and by the end of the pass it was a little wider and flatter. And then here you can see the obvious undercut at the end of this. So that must have something to do with the fact that it's um, cast iron. This one here, stainless, this not stainless steel, um, steel, carbon steel, there's no undercut with these settings. And I went from here to here, so the metal had to get pretty hot by the time I got to the end and it didn't didn't do what it so the, I think the cast iron is softer more delicate but like I said you can pr use it for practice um, and another thing I noticed is if you do a couple like root passes they're gonna look maybe bumpy and funky and then if you put a pass on top of the weld now you're on top of good steel again so you're going to get nicer welds on your second on the overlap so that's another thing you can do you can you can use the cast iron as a base lay down some like over here if i clean this all up right here i could put i could use that as a base and it would you'd probably get the nice ripples like i have here And uh, same thing here. This was a second layer. Not it's not too bad. Second layers here, smoother, but the single layer kind of funny looking. But nonetheless, it does work. And I last thing. This is where I was trying to grind to see if I can get the color. And the sparks. They they might have looked a little bit reddish or orangey. And this might have been a little more yellowish. I don't know. I I think you, you're going to tell soon enough if you if you lay a bead and it looks kind of cratered n n not from
porosity, but just like bumpy. You're you're on you're on um, cast iron, and if you're starting to get the nice ripples like that, you're you're on steel.